Hello and welcome to the Excel VBA functions series. In this video, we'll talk about the functions array, filter, and join. And we've covered a bit of the array function already in the training for beginners. So check out this video up here to get the basics about arrays in Excel VBA. Now let's see a couple of examples. So I'm gonna call these array functions, but actually these are also considered as string functions in some other categorization. So don't get confused about that, it doesn't really matter. Now we've already seen in a previous video how to create an array based on a string using the split function. I believe you've seen that video too, otherwise please check this link up here. But we can also simply create an array adding the different elements that we want to have in that array using the array function. And for that we need to declare that array as a variant. So let's say we're gonna have an array with the seasons of the year. Then we need to declare it as a variant. If we don't declare it, it doesn't really matter because Excel always declares a variable as a variant by default, but it's always good to declare all the variables. Then we can say our seasons is the array of spring, summer, autumn, and winter. Now, if we display in the message box seasons one, we're gonna get summer. Let's see now how the filter function works. So I'm going to actually call this array function and then down here I'm going to say filter function. And as an example let's create another uh, another array. I'm going to call it apps and again using the array function we're going to have ms word ms excel ms edge for example and then we're going to have Google Sheets, Google Chrome, and Mozilla Firefox, for example. Now, we're going to use the filter function to filter only certain elements in the array. And let's say we want to filter and get only the Microsoft apps. And we will put that in some other array, let's call it filtered array using the filter function with apps. So that's the source array, as you see here, that needs to match MS or Microsoft. And the include parameter now needs to be true. It needs to include that. And the compare parameter is gonna be a text compare. Now, if we loop through that array, so for each app in that, filtered array and display each app in a message box, for example, we're going to see that we get only the Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, and Microsoft Edge apps. So we've filtered the initial array apps to get only the Microsoft apps in that array. So that's how the filter VBA function works. And remember, it has nothing to do with the filter functionalities that we have in Excel. That's something else. This is just filtering elements in an array. Now, finally, the join function is actually the opposite of the split function that we saw in the previous video in this series. And we could actually use the example of the array up here to join everything into a string using the join functions. So let me come down here and say the seasons string is going to be using join with seasons. That's the source array, as you see here. And we're going to use a comma as a delimiter. You could use a space or you could use any other character. Now, if we display this seasons string, we get, you see, a single string with all the seasons in. And of course, remember that this seasons string is declared as a string up here. Now let's see a more practical example to use the join function to convert a range into a string. And let me put that in another module. So this is gonna convert range to string. And as an example, we're going to use the range here from A1 through A4. 
So set RNG equals range A1 through A4, but this could be any other range. And of course, we're going to declare RNG as a range. We are also going to have the resulting string, let's say str as a string. And now before we see how to do it with the join function, let's have a look at how was the traditional approach to convert a range into a string. So this is the traditional approach, not using the join function. So we would actually loop for each cell in that range, and then we would have our string variable, str, equals str, whatever is in str, the first time it's empty, so there's nothing there, but whatever is in str, and the cell dot value, and a delimiter, for example, if we want to have a comma, or a space, or whatever. Then we will go to the next cell, and finally we will have our string, so if we display that in a message box, we would get something like this, apple, banana, mango, orange. But notice we have a comma at the end. We probably don't want to have the comma at the end. Then we would have to set some sort of conditional statement here to not add the last comma, or, or we could also use the write function to get rid of that one, or use the replace and replace the last comma. We have many possibilities to do that. But this was the, the traditional approach. And well, it's, it works. But now we're going to see how to do it using the join function. And for that, we're going to get the value of that range into a variable. But if we directly get the range dot value, we would get a two-dimensional array. And the join function works with a one-dimensional array. So just one dimension, right? So in order to get this range into a one-dimensional array, so just the column values, we need to use the transpose function. So rng1d is going to be application.transpose for our rng.value. Now let me comment this and show you how that looks in the, in the locals window. As an example, we're going to have here rng2d. So if we just say rng.value, this is going to create a 2D, two-dimensional array. Let me, let me then show you here in the locals window. I'm going to press F8 to move line by line. So now we've created rng2D as you see. We have here one dimension, and then we have here the second dimension, 1, 1, and then 2, 1, and so on. Now, let me press F8 and move to the next line and have a look at RNG1D. As you see here, we have only one dimension. So the first element, second, third, and fourth, with each value in that range. OK. So let me remove that. We don't need here, we don't need here this array because we're going to use the join function. And now the only thing we have to do is to have our RNG string using join for that RNG one dimensional array and using a delimiter as we did before, we could use the comma. Now we can display the RNG str in a message box and we get the same result as we got earlier. Of course, we don't have the comma at the end, so we don't have to worry about removing that comma. And it's actually easier to convert the range into a string using the join function. So that's how we use the array, filter, and join functions in Excel VBA. Thanks for watching.